and when you talk about coagulation cause of bleeding there can be possibilities like hemophilias hemophilias can be there patient can have von willebrand disease you can have liver disease and you can have vitamin k deficiency and lastly the patient can have dic how to distinguish between them as we discuss we shall be progressing so have a look here this is the overall approach it is a symptom based approach that you need to follow when you are solving mcqs let us discuss the individual things the important individual things one by one let us first talk about platelet disorders so i'm giving the heading platelet disorder i will be very brief i will not go into the hematology part i will go into the clinical part in platelet disorder the most common platelet disorder found in children most common cause seen in children is acute itp remember that chronic itp is a disease of the adults itp stands for immune thrombocytopenic purpura earlier we used to have uh, a condition called as idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura but the term idiopathic is no longer used because we now know it is a acute manifestation and uh, these patients have a auto antibody formation against the platelet acute itp is said to be there where the onset of illness is less than 3 months 3 to 6 months is generally considered to be sub acute and more than 6 month is generally considered to be chronic itp so onset is for 3 months duration it is not age onset is less than 3 months of duration now the what is the peak age in which acute itp happens it is 1 to 7 years and what is the cause it is often triggered by a non specific viral infections what happens is that there is a viral infection after a viral infection there will be uh, there will be onset there will be development of auto antibodies against platelet antigens particularly there is a platelet antigen called as glycoprotein 2b 3a this is present on the platelet surface and this auto antibody will be labeling the it will attach to the platelets these antibody labeled platelets will be destroyed in the spleen because this antibody is circulating in the blood so even if the, you try to give platelet concentrate or platelet transfusion it will not be effective because antibody will then bind to the transfused platelet and they will also be destroyed by the spleen and that is why acute itp patient there is no real you know use of giving platelet concentrate